I want to welcome you back. To Brotley! Heroes! An SCV already being sent out by New. Now, there was actually a tag on this one. There was a note that nothing, like, not, not a single unit dies. Well, not maybe not unit dies, but no shots are fired for the first 10 minutes. So we're actually going to double speed until the first unit dies. I usually don't like to do that, but if we know it's going to be so passive, I've already spoiled myself. So I want to spoil you guys as well. But we'll just, we'll just analyze their builds. I think we'll have time. They have dozens of action. Oh, if you combine them. Oh, oh, we lost them. Okay, they're back. Oh, wait. Oh, Ooh, it's a roller coaster. If you combine them, over one action per second. How long is the game? As long as it needs to be. Um, I don't know that. I wish I didn't know that not a unit dies for 10 minutes, but... Okay, wait, I didn't even introduce our players. We got time to do so. In the bottom right, it's new, and in the top left, it's Zulu DFA. Now, you might be like, what's our Bronze League Heroes? Oh, Bunker's coming up. Great minds, all that. You might be like, what's our Bronze League Heroes no rush record? Well, our record, we had like 10 minutes, 11 minutes, 12 minutes, 13, like, and I guess we're kind of counting like, not even an, like an SCV dying is okay and all that. We had a lot of those, but you know who smashed it? It wasn't anyone who sent in a replay. It was Silver. Building Void Rays. In, and Immortals. And Charge Lots in her base for 18 minutes. While the other player did the same thing. Silver with 18 minutes of no rush play in the Silver League. So, uh, unfortunately, until someone tops that. <laughs> she did win the game. Important. Uh, but <laughs> so any game compared to that is more fast is is more action packed <laughs> sensor tower before well you got to make sure it's safe to expand and when you only have one orbital for scanning now now here's one of my favorite thing I'm actually gonna pause this is this is we're breaking all the fourth walls one of my favorite parts of low-level Terran versus Terrans is the first scan, okay? The first scan, when both players have an orbital. You know why? Because that then reminds the other player they have an orbital. And then all hell breaks loose. It's like Black Friday. I don't know. <gasps> the first one. Wait. He doesn't have the energy. Will he immediately counter scan when he has the energy? I'm gonna make sure. Well, oh, he scammed me. Well, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Now, now he didn't have the energy for the immediate counter scan, but and there it is. There it is. The counter scan. Wait, what? The rocks are taken down by the tank. The marines cheering it on. The tank feeling like they're kind of in its personal space, but that's okay. Another base. All right, the sensor tower to protect it. By the way, New has scouted. He has scouted. He knows there's another player in the game. Um, so has Zulu DFA, but his first scout was with a scan. So. We're going to keep making command centers. Well, the, the expanding is coming pretty quick. Like, Vikings, tanks... High sec auto tracking, very important. I'm not sure what's going on with the uh, whole siege tank, um, the siege tank cult of the Marines here, but okay. A scan. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Do we have a counter scan? I don't even know who's scanning who. No. Just making sure he covers this area. We're going to have to slow it down, otherwise we can't follow all the scan action. That's very important.
We gotta wait for that next volley. As both players keep tabs. Oh wait. The counter scan. Zulu throws it back. The Marines will move into the scan, showing their their might. What is this? Zulu's moving up. It's getting very close to attacking. Not quite attacking, but getting very close to it. Still no units have lost. Not a single shot fired. Scans fired. It's a cold war. The intelligence and counterintelligence gathering is very important here. But for now, the only radiation will be from scans. Wait, is he going to move forward? The tank's on siege. The supplies, quite even. The worker count heavily in favor of new. Oh, the attack. We'll be literally at the 10 minute mark on the dot. Not quite the Viking goes down in the opening shot of what is sure to be an action packed war. The siege tank in position. Gonna be able to shell, but they are in range of the planetary. Here comes new. The planetary taking hits. Does he have building armor? No. The Liberator. Very ambitious. A Viking. Try. He might throw it back. The Liberator coming up. The double siege. Beautiful plays. He tries to unsiege. But the tank already taken out. Everybody's on siege. He's in planetary range. The planetary having a say in the matter. Stim is not done. Doesn't matter. Closing the distance. Just a single tank is siege. And it's targeted on the planetary. The tanks are trying to kill the, the tanks. Are, are still targeting the planetary. He's working his way through. The, the SCVs are doing a very good job. The SCVs are earning their hazard pay. The shells continue to fly. How they don't run out of ammunition, we don't know. He's gonna get closer. Unfortunately, everybody else is inspired to get closer. 13 kills on the planetary. 16, 17. He's not killing the SCVs. It's the, it's the SCVs behind the planetary. No plan a planetary is nothing without a good SCV complement. The planetary at 20 kills. Down goes the Marauder. The tanks doing their best. The battle continues. Is the tank, are the tanks in range? If only he had high sac auto tracking. More SCVs, every Marine taken out 26. The planetary really staring him down. Staring him down. He wants to take some shots, but can't quite do it. The Liberators are coming up. He's gonna pull back, but he's gonna pull him into the turrets. The masterful bait. Four Marines going down. Turrets going down the Vikings. Liberators at the front and Liberators at the back. He's gonna try it. Well, there's still there's still Vikings. They're not all dead, but there was a tank on the other side. The Planetary going to work. The Liberator gonna take out the tank. Liberator on top of the base. Is this the moment where he discovers that Planetaries can't tilt their faces up for some reason? And all the SCVs are gonna fall. There are two liberators of N Diagram of Freedom liberating the planetary from any repair. The supplies 80 to 85. The tank shells continue to rain down from a single tank that has racked up zero kills, but has taken a lot of shots. Oh, he's trying to go forward. Will he get the tank? The tank's so important. Liberators don't kill tanks. He kills the tank. Going for the Liberator, taking shots. Has 10 kills so far, but it's not in range to stop the mules from repairing. Thor is here, and he's in high impact mode. He's gonna have a very high impact on whether or not this Liberator survives. It shoots very slow. <laughs> the, liber the, the Planetary, 34 kills in. And as the smoke clears, 74 to 74 supply. Dead even, what an evenly matched battle. A pitched battle between these players. New holding on to his planetary. Get off my lawn, you damn tanks. His lawn extending quite far out. But he, he's, still, he's still on the sidewalk. He's not quite on his lawn, he's threatening it. The SCVs, the boys have been pulled in order to repair. Zulu is barely mining at home. 
every tank is being sent to the front. The planetary still under fire. The Thor is very patient. The planetary at risk of crumbling. It's in the orn. Slowly falling. Another tank is on the way. That will expedite the process. The Unseed, he's moving up. The tanks are right-clicked on the planetary. The Thor will take this opportunity, pounding through. The planetary will have a say in the matter. More repair, the Liberator comes up. The tanks doing their best. Thor's doing a great job as well. Another tank at the front. He's making it happen. The Thor's, he slipped on the planetary. Oh, he'll, he will save it. What a day! And he kicks him off his lawn. Another tank. This one not quite as uh, as likely to do anything as the previous ones. The planetary 35 kills. Thor 7, 6. He really, really wanted that planetary fortress, but knew just wouldn't let him have it. He got he could taste it. It was burning. He could sm he could smell the smoke. But he he never saw the fire. Now the question is, will new attack at any point? Both players with some money banked up one way or another. Plus one upgrades across the board here for Zulu. As the buildup continues. Plus two armor, plus one mech weapons. Upgrades slightly neglected from new. Scans. Making sure he has coverage of the main. Do we have the counter scans? Oh, he drops the mule hammer. Both these players doing their best to figure out what the best move is. After such after such a terrible, terrible cost exacted on both sides. Mostly in the amount of times that this planetary has had to been... I wonder how many minerals were spent repairing. How many minerals and how much gas? How much was spent on repairing the planetary? At what point would it have been better to just scrap the planetary and get a new one? <laughs> it's not... How, how many tank shots? It's like mileage for planetaries. As we continue. The Banshees always, but battle cruisers, both sides. Well, there's a fusion core on the way for new. Battle cruisers already in production for Zulu. We'll have to see how these Banshees do. The Banshee strike force moving in. They do have cloak. They do not, right? Yeah, they do have cloak. They don't have hyper flight. Fortunately, the tanks with, oh, the turrets with high sec auto tracking. He tries to slip the needle. The Vikings are there, there is detection. And a scan, the Banshee's not doing great. They slip into the main. There's still a tank here. The Vikings should be able to take them out. They fly into the turrets. The Banshee hit squad, not, not incredibly successful. Neither player with huge production, something they are struggling with. One overworked medevac. It has a job, apparently. It's He he manually controlled the... Oh, it came back for repair. I was like, he manually controlled to heal those marines up after they shot at the Banshees. But three battle cruisers on the way for Zulu. And the key count, obviously, no battle cruisers on the way for new. He has the fusion core, but he might not realize that he has it until he sees the battle cruisers of his opponent. But wait, weapon refit. He well, he still does. He's still not building battle cruisers. He's they're gonna have the Yamato cannon if he ever does. But new knows it's it's impolite to attack until you have every base on your side of the map.
High stack auto tracking on the way. Concussive shells as well. Those usually a good combo. The Marauders break the knees of the Viking. They lift off into the air and then the turret shoot them down from far away. That's exactly what we're thinking here. I'm going to have another command center contain. Planetaries, they did so well earlier. Why not? Why not add to the... Uh, Building armor as well. We're just filling in the laundry list. Get your bingo cards out. We've got the depot line, the supply drop depot line. Oh, the TPM finally begins to raise. The turrets per minute. Zulu at nearly one, 19 turrets. But New might be able to catch up and surpass. He's also getting rapid fire launchers for his non-existent cyclones. Six at a time. Unfortunately, most of these have contracted SCVs that uh, only use one SCV at a time. Zulu getting very close to 200 supply. And his army consists of nine battle cruisers. Ten battle cruisers that have 2 2 upgrades. Where's the anti air here? We have a lot of Marines, a lot of Thors, some medevacs, drilling claws. Plus three, I'm just, we're just production tab reading now. It's gonna be three, three. Everybody, that first war was so devastating. The great war over the planetary. A war so great, there would never be another war again. A war to end all wars. But, both sides remain. Their grievances were not settled. While there was some peace and an economic boom for either side, then suddenly, they started to realize economies are limited. There are only so many bases here on Fracture, and indeed a Fracture began to form. Lines were drawn in the sand. Turrets and scans and planetaries. Hello, that's new. It looks like he dropped mules to mine some of his minerals. He's trying to steal his minerals. Now this, the buildup, he said Zulu. Well, well at first Zulu, he didn't quite get all the way there. But it was said that that new, you're not allowed to build anymore. We'll let you keep your planetary. We'll let you keep your minerals as long as you don't build more Thors, as you don't build more battle cruisers and marines. But Zulu did not enforce that decree. And th now it looks like war once again is on the horizon. But He's cloaking his tanks. He cloaked his tanks with the battle cruisers. The next metal strat. How many tanks are under there? Literally no one knows. The answer is far too many. And whose lawn is whose now? New loses everything. He's gonna rebuild. How does he not have money? Probably because he built 39 turrets and 19 planetaries. But remember, he build 32 turrets, 39 turrets, and eight planetaries. Also important. The rebuild. <laughs> important to point out. The units lost tab. Well, Zulu, Zulu might have been less cost effective in the original skirmish at, over the planetary, but now this is a full scale. Okay, they, we aren't we aren't just fighting over planetaries anymore. The entire map is consumed with with the uh, machinations of both sides. New going for the defense-oriented style. Going for planetaries, trying to form a line across the map. But Zulu has the units, he has the tanks, and the air support he needs to punch right through. The battle cruisers. It seems like a little bit overkill. The Yamato cannons through the planetary and the turrets. Tanks working their way up. These turrets can tickle. That's plus three armor. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how far the turrets shoot. They're, they're just, they're not doing much. 
against the battle cruisers, but they are slowing them down. They're slowing down the attack. So, 34 turrets. How many turrets have we lost? 19 turrets have been lost, plus 32, 51, 77, 76 turrets, 77 turrets. So, nearly 3 TPM, 2.5, that's a lot of Vikings. And what he has plus two ship weapons and armor. The Vikings are pretty good. He's also drawing them into some turrets. The Amato cannons, a lot have been exhausted. He's drawing them into the planetary. The planetary blasting through. It will fall. But the cost is heavy. Still. The reinforcements coming at the tank line. Sieged up again. He doesn't have high ground vision. It's a disaster. Another round of Marines. They tried to plug the gap, but instead opened up a wider hole. One hundred and fifty-eight Marines have died, but the Vikings. One battle cruiser. He's fighting back. There are three battle cruisers in production. One, another one goes down. There's not that many Marines underneath here. There's only two. He's actually kiting back. Beautiful micro on the Vikings. Hit and run. The battle cruisers without the Yamato cannon don't have an answer. The Vikings are doing a great job. Incredible micro still. He's building four Vikings at a time. One Marine underneath, very ambitious. The Yamato from downtown. Tanks move forward. New still has access to more bases. He's building more Vikings. Battle cruisers are continuing to be built. There are currently nine battle cruisers and six Vikings for Zulu. And simply 40, 20 Vikings. I think 40 SCVs, 20 Vikings. For new. But once again, the Vikings find a division. Oh, he jumps in! He jumps in to reinforce! Is that the move? The Vikings, they can't jump very far. Still, they're kiting back. The, the Thor doing its best. And a Yamato goes off from the gray. The Battlecruisers are still going through. In autumn colors right now, badly bruised. They need repair, but won't find it out this far past their supply lines. That's... I mean... <laughs> it's too scary to jump farther than you can see. But the Battlecruisers didn't have time. The SCVs underneath didn't have time for repair. The Vikings gonna knock them out of the sky. The Lanzer torpedoes doing incredible damage. The Viking Micro winning this battle. Now the question remains, even if he kills all the Battlecruisers, how does he win the war? Another Yamato. Marines still a contest. Every battle cruiser has fallen. There's one on the field. Still new down in supply. New has an army of 20 Vikings. There's one Liberator. It's right here. He remembers it. It's it's been unseen. And then he's like, you know what? No, I liked it where it was. All right. I never should. I never should have questioned it. Four more Vikings. The tanks on siege are possibly the worst time, and they're scanned! He has the intel! It's time for the surprise attack! Or is it? The Marines stimming in, but the tanks are siege! The Vikings, don't do it! Don't do it! He has the high ground! He almost... You, you could feel it. If he wasn't in that exact position, if it was a little closer, he would have... He, he would have landed the Vikings. And this would have been D-Day. As in, death for the Vikings. The jump to reinforce. The Vikings will find another place to pillage. Another planetary. The planetary is buying so much time. How many has he lost? This is, this will be four. Assuming he does lose it. The Vikings hit the deck, but they will do, they, they will do a ground landing. Zulu has refilled his battle cruisers. How many Vikings does it take to kill a planetary? Words not said very often. Uh, 
520 APM for a split second. He was right clicking on. He sees the army. He says, let's do this. How many battle cruisers? Only five battle cruisers against 34 Vikings. Are they Amados? Oh my God, the damage each valley does. But they're armorines on the ground. Everybody has full upgrades besides new only has plus two ship weapons. That seems like a bit of an oversight considering his unit composition. Fracture, remember, there aren't that many bases. There is a real chance we will mine this map out. The Viking fleet. He's trying to draw them in. The Yamatos, you kill the battlecruiser before it goes off, but a few good hits. The Marines getting a little too close. Pulling back. No man's land. Looking for the battlecruisers. Well, it's no man's land because there's no man one, other, one way or another. Repair underneath with the SCVs. He lost several. How many battle cruisers? 22 battle cruisers have fallen to only 28 Vikings. The Liberator! The Liberator to dislodge! What a beautiful choice. The Marines will kill the Liberator though. While the Vikings kill all the battle cruisers. Okay. The battle cruisers are gone. Oh my. The cloak tank strat working well for both players, where you just have so many air units, they can't tell that there are tanks underneath, besides the fact that all their marines are dying. <gasps> A Viking raid. Gonna slip around the icy glaciers of Fracture. But... There is a turret perimeter. Is this really what he spotted? Vikings, that battle cruiser. Those Vikings didn't like the look of that battle cruiser. He came to the wrong neighborhood. But now the question remains. The question remains. In order to win a game of StarCraft, your opponent must surrender or they must have no buildings. At even supplies, at 35 minutes, one player with tanks and marines, the other player with 33 vikings, neither with that many minerals left to mine. Now what? Now what? Zulu will give up his position. It looks like New was ready to jump him. Zulu a step ahead. Or a step behind. Or a step sideways. I don't know. It's a 12 step program. The Marines stimming in. That is a planetary with range and building armor. If it is repaired, it will be auto repaired. Oh my god. The repair goes through. 17, 20 kills. 22, 27. Revenge! Whose planetary is better now? Wait, no, not the Vikings, too! He hits the deck! Now, Vikings have a lot more damage in this scenario. So, the planetary will go down. But, as planetaries are slowly being cleared off the map, Slowly, slowly. Where does this leave us? Now the ground army is gone. There's only three Vikings. I mean, three siege tanks, six liberators for anti-ground, and planetaries out of new. He is barely mining. Zulu has some money in the bank. Neither player is really mining. There aren't, there's, there are no mineral patches on the main platform. There's 30 minerals there, 10, 500 at that patch. 15 there. Another planetary. There's no minerals there. Why do I need to be there? This planetary not going to find as many kills as the one on the opposite corner. Oh. But liberators. Liberators. The freedom. Are there enough liberators to kill the marines, though? 
There are enough Liberators to kill a lot of Marines. The air war continues. He's clearing up the freedom. Ew, he's gonna... Well... He, he's running... Now he builds a battlecruiser of his own. I think he just canceled it. No, he's building two battlecruisers. He's like... Well... It works so well for you. He canceled a lot. I don't know what he canceled, but he canceled a lot of units. And is now building battlecruisers. But is it too little? And is it too late? Or does he still have the chance to cruise to victory? Zulu is essentially out of money. The map is nearly out of money. It's not over yet for new. He's still got planetaries. He's building battlecruisers. That is very ambitious. I don't know what you think you're doing. Another planetary. It's gonna do some damage and rack up some kills, but will ultimately be brought down. There are only two planetaries remaining, and I'm pretty sure success in this match is gauge gauged by how many planetaries you have left. Air control will still be taken. That liberator liberated. The Vikings still win in the air, but it's getting to the point where a strong breeze will blow most of the fleet away. He's still making Vikings. He built two cruisers. He now has a battle group. Two cruisers are still not enough anti-ground to beat those Marines. But he's going to try anyways. But Marines coming down. Wait a second. Yamato's the tanks. Wait, is it? The Marines, they're trying to get... Are the battle cruisers is calling in the fleet to play? The battle cruisers are winning, but he's stepping into the production line. The Vikings hit the ground. Mutually assured destruction as tanks and Vikings go at one another. The two battle cruisers get me closer so I can slice them with my blades. But more Marines knew he's holding on. The battle cruisers are clearing up the ground army. Zulu lost 30. These are, but new. With two cruisers, it's not about what tools you have. It's about how you use them. And new, a, a craftsman crafting a victory from a position that seemed almost untenable. Or is it? Because Zulu is still at 90 supply. He jumps! Leaving three Marauders and four SCVs to contemplate exactly what is happening. And two Vikings. Um as well, but wait, two can play at that game. This continues. Still some more bio, but Zulu has learned. You know what counters battle cruisers? New has taught him a repeated lesson. Has has the the student become the master? Become the student, become the master. Or has no one learned anything? The Vikings hit the deck. They killed the first Marauders, but then more came up. And suddenly the economies, the mineral patches are drying up. This base, one of the only ones with any real, well, there are two bases left with mineral patches. Two bases. Two. The Vikings playing a dangerous, very dangerous flight path. We'll take out the Vikings here. He's gonna... He's... Well... You're the last one. Complete the mission. One HP. A Viking survives that gauntlet. Oh, now. The last Viking... I've played this game before. It's not a fun one. It looked exactly like that. Oh no, don't do it. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. 
No, no, no. Okay. The Vikings are on the chase. Okay. The lost Viking. Last Viking, lost Viking. And the repair. The repair. He will live to fight another day. Suddenly, New takes the supply lead back. But there are still planetary fortresses. Scans. Across the board. Bio. Planetaries. Tanks have, been, have gone by the wayside. It's a ground game now. Medivax, though. Tries to take down the ever-dangerous turrets that Marine left behind. Repair money is is becoming a serious... He stims again. Got to sneak by those turrets as quick as possible. No medevacs here. He can't afford the health insurance. The planetary taking a terrible toll. 16 kills. Another stim. They're either going to stim their way into rehab or into the grave. It looks like probably the latter. Marines looking for SCVs. Another stab! Takes down the ever important sensor tower. Can he stim again? He can hit it one more time on a couple Marines, but does he? We've gone from the greatest, the full, and now it ends. Their watch has ended. More Marines coming out. We're locked in to a battle on the ground. We've gone all the way. We've gone all the way from the original attack, the small struggle for the planetary fortress. A border dispute to total annihilation. 800 plus units being lost. Over 100,000 resources. 284 Marines for new, 143. 30 battle cruisers to two, 72 Vikings. The map is mined out. Neither player has minerals. We could potentially be looking at a draw. The tank sieging up. Deja vu, we've seen this several times. Zulu is ahead on army supply, but that is a planetary. He has less Vikings. The Marines are inspired to go forward. They really shouldn't be. Air control is there. The planetary holding on for now. This is the last mining for new. He has nothing after this. The Vikings going to work. He's going to loot. New is losing air control. He's repairing the planetary, but he's spending all the money he mined. New going forward. Zulu is still mining. He has a few mineral patches left. This could be the last stand of new. But the tanks in the back, the planetary, the blast. Well, there are actually two planetaries, but once again, a planetary, the sticking point. Zulu pushing through everything is stem. The tanks, they're right clicked on the planetary. It's a disaster. Both fire armies being obliterated. It's mutual destruction. The planetary has 11 kills. The Vikings will kill the Medivacs. The tanks are gone. The Medivacs are gone. And the planetary holds. Uh-oh. He's been down this road before. He's been down. Not again. A battle cruiser jumps in for defense. The most tactical of tactical jumps. The turrets will burn. The Marines. Not again. Lay off the needle. But he can micro. He can micro, the Marines are stimming, but there's a tank! The battle crews are gonna be knocked down, but every single Marine swiped off the map.
there's only so many minerals left. There's only so much left. They said with the first planetary will be fought. fought. The first world war was fought with guns. The second planetary was fought with bombs. But the third one will be fought over a single patch of minerals. I kind of I kind of botched that analogy. You get the idea. Is this is all we have left? Nearly even resources lost. The units lost not so much, but when you lose 30 something battle cruisers, that tends to happen. The shells continue to fly at planetaries like they have for so many times this game. He's never truly gotten off his lawn. But he's running out of minerals to repair. This is a serious concern. This is a real concern happening. There is one liberator on the way. A tank? Is there vision of it? It's clicked on the planetary! He can scan. He can scan. Whoever scans first. He scans, he hits the tank! He hits the tank and everything else! The, the Vikings don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, the SCVs pull. Another tank. But how many more tanks can they build? Zulu has lost 20. It seems like a lot more than that. Somehow New has only lost four, which means he has only built six tanks this game. This tank has 18 kills. This tank has two. I don't... <laughs> that is a good question. Where is the rest of... There are six Vikings, a Marine, 15 Marines, a Marauder in reserve. Just when the battle seems to have concluded. Oh my god, he's dropping mules to do friendly fire damage to the tanks! <gasps> and it's working! He's gonna run out of money! I don't... He needs to unseat one of those tanks. He needs to unseat one of those tanks right now. <laughs> this, this is what we're fighting with. Now that we've run out of minerals, we fight with that which was originally sent to gather them. First, we sent them with rifles and then we sent them with swords and then we sent them with their shovels. I'm not sure this Liberator is going to be as cost-effective as he hopes. No! He stims in. Gets a Viking. Zulu at 100 supply. That, one, that tank very anxious to do... Both tanks very anxious to do whatever they need to do. A scan right now. A scan right now could change everything. Oh my god, he gets in tank range! The planetary as well! But the tanks fire on the other tank. The planetary's holding. He's trying to break it. This is it. This is it. No one has money left. The planetary is holding. The tank doesn't have range on the other tanks. It can hit the forward one. There's no minerals left to mine for. There's no minerals left. There's nothing left to fight over. Why must you? The boys! The boys! The He's on the tanks. A scan. The tank will retreat. There's another planetary. The planetary of old. The last bastion. The last planetary. New has no minerals left. But besides this one patch, he's mining for scraps. There's 180 minerals, 160, 300 something minerals left. That's it. That's all there is. But Zulu has no minerals. Okay, there's this 30 minerals here. No minerals in the main. 185, 130. There's only 300 minerals left for Zulu. This is it. There's no money left. New only has 18 supply, but repair money might not be worth it. Oh my God, the mule drops. If the mule drops, win the game. We're 52 minutes in. This started without a single shot fired for 10 minutes. But it wasn't about the shots that were fired. It's at the shots that were going to be. And so many shots. So many.
the final siege? Will it end where it all started? On this planetary. He'll bring the tanks. He can afford to be careful. The marines are in range. We'll be blasted apart. He's, he's trying to mine these last 65 minerals. New isn't even building anything. Good. He's not building anything. Now I have your attention. Oh my god, he's in tank range. Does he click on the planetary? Oh, is there a scan? A counter scan. We're out of money. Don't. He has no SUVs to repair, nor should he repair. He's retreating. Wait, no, the wrong way. Okay. Can the tank even get through there? Oh no, trapped in a prison of his own design. The tank, for a second. He's retreating to the main. As he mines out one of the last mineral patches on the entire map. There are 50 minerals left here. New has 500. Like, what do you build? He's got bunkers. He's got bunkers. But at what point does New decide before it's all over, before the final wall is breached, his main is breached, does he decide to surrender? Does he decide to tap out of his own game like a coward? Or does he watch it all burn around him? GG, Zulu throws it out. And reinvigorate it, I'm sure, is new. Pretty good for gold. Remember, Bronze League heroes are of any league. And, uh, don't always have the best perspective. New has nothing left. There's nothing left to fight over. Widow mines are gone. He's building widow mines. That unit he hasn't built the entire match. There's no money. That's it. That's it. Well, actually, no. He's building three widow mines. There is a very, 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 very improbable scenario. Okay. Where all the Vikings die to widow mines. Okay. Step one. He lifts his buildings. And Zulu does not have the minerals. He does not have the minerals to build an air unit to kill. Oh, well, he's still got five Vikings at home. So I don't... I'm not sure what he meant. There's no mineral... Pa have we dried up the whole map? Like, is, are we going to get every single... There are ten minerals left on the entire map. There's not even, like, one tiny mineral patch somewhere. No, these are the last ones. He's gonna lift it all. He could salvage bunkers for mineral. <laughs> 56 minutes. New. I know that's all you got, LOL. Well, New, I'm not sure how much you have. The, the outpost. This is like, if you just saw this, and it was, it, this is like the beginning of the second chapter of an RPG. It's like, war happened. Is this really happening? War happened here. Okay. We, could, we don't know exactly what happened, but over the next 50 quests, we're going to uncover. I don't know. The planetary. Racking up some last second kills. Double kill. But New refuses to tap out. There are no minerals left on the map. There's nothing. The only minerals are in the bunkers he could salvage. Zulu has no minerals. So lucky. Not sure if luck factored heavily into this. And that's it. It's all over. It's all over. Zulu, after 57 minutes, I'm just going to list it, 41 SCVs, 10 medevacs, 47 Vikings, 3 Liberators, 22 tanks, 46 Marauders, 201 Marines, 31 Battle Cruisers, 3 Refineries, 1 Sensor Tower, 21 Turrets, and 1 Planetary. Lost for him.
in victory, but new in, in agonizing defeat. Five Thors, seven Widowmines, 57 SCVs, two Medivacs, six Banshees, 85 Vikings, a single clone, 19 Liberators, six tanks, 355 Marines, two battlecruisers, 12 refineries, one tech lab, two of another type of tech lab, four starports, a command center, fusion core, sensor tower, 49 turrets, engineering bay, factory, two barracks, six depots, an orbital command, and 10 planetary fortresses. Now, he told him to get off his lawn, but I don't know if there's any, any lawn left to fight over. A hollow victory, maybe, but a victory. Zulu wins! We're not going to top that. Play. Nope. Nope. <clears throat> oh my god. So, I I was already working on we I already had the one I wanted for Bronze League Heroes 100 because we're on 98 Bronze League Heroes. I have a backlog of several, several, and I was gonna do something special for 100, but the game I had for Bronze League Heroes. 100 was essentially that game, but not quite as good. Wasn't as long, 